Hi and welcome to this week's edition of the Pool Guy Podcast Show. Today I'm going to be joined by Rich DeMoss from Lamont. Lamont makes water testing products. They make the ColorQ Pro 7, which I use on my pool route, along with test strips and digital testers. They also make a WaterLink Spin Touch. And we're going to touch briefly on the Spin Touch, but I'm going to do a separate podcast just on the Spin Touch product with Rich, which will air an upcoming episode. So you tune in for that one. But today we're going to touch on the ColorQ Pro 7, as well as the other ColorQ test kits, their test strips, and also their other digital water testers. This week's podcast is brought to you by InyoPools.com. InyoPools has been helping pool owners find the right pool parts in 2001. With over 50,000 pool parts in stock, order online today and have the parts delivered right to your door. Also, this podcast is brought to you by Riptide Pool Vacuum Systems. The Riptide Pool Vacuum is a powerful vacuum system that will vacuum up very large leaf debris from the bottom of a pool rapidly. So if you are doing pool service in an area where you get a lot of wind and a large leaf debris on the bottom, the Riptide Pool Vacuum would be ideal for you. You can learn more about the Riptide Pool Vacuum System at www.riptidevac.com. So I'm joined today by um, Rich DeMoss from Lamont. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Doing well, David. So I guess uh, the premier uh, test kit that you make that everyone's familiar with is called the Color Q Pro 7. Um, can you go over that test kit for our listeners? Sure. The uh, ColorQ Pro 7, um, we designed it about 10 years ago. Uh, we designed it so that service professionals could use it or also possibly consumers. And very easy to use. One thing nice about it is when you go to use it, all the liquid reagents, you would just add five drops per test, where it makes it a lot simpler counting five drops than having to count you know, 10 or 20 for some of the visual kits that are offered on the market. Um, the color cue um, measures your, your basic tests, free chlorine, total chlorine, bromine, pH, alkalinity, hardness, cyanuric acid. Um, and in that order, you would run the test, and you would get results on the meter, the photometric meter, um, which has uh, two LEDs uh, inside the meter to, uh, diff- to give you the different colors uh, matching of the reagents. Um, so to run a complete test of the, uh, the different test factors I mentioned, it would take a user about uh, two minutes to three minutes total. Okay, and then the results are, are on an LED readout for you. There's no looking at the color to kind of guess what the actual um, measurements are? Correct, yes. Yeah. So that, that's great for uh, users who have a tough time trying to match you know, test strips or dip cells um, or visual type test kits. Um, the LED, uh, like I mentioned, there's two, two uh, photo detectors in there and they'll give you the color reaction with the number uh, on the screen there for you. So how accurate is the uh, ColorQ Pro 7 then? Um, well, the different accuracy depends on the test factor. Um, for example, you know, if you're measuring, let's say, pH, um, the accuracy for the ColorQ is a point uh, 0.15. Um, and if you were, say, comparing that to, a, say, a test strip, uh, the accuracy for a test strip is half a color pad. And so, for example, on a test strip, you'll see ranges like 7.2 to 7.8. Well, on a test strip, the accuracy is 0.3 uh, for pH in that situation. Okay. And so if someone's looking to buy a test kit, maybe a consumer or a pool professional, um, what makes, besides you mentioned a lot of the features of the color Q, um, it, ma- it makes it a superior test kit over just maybe like a reagent test kit where you have to kind of eyeball the reading? Right, yeah. The biggest thing is you don't have to worry about trying to uh, eyeball the reading like you mentioned. Um, you, know, you place the test tube into the meter, and it gives you a um, number for that level for chlorine or pH or the other test factors that it measures. So you're not guessing at a color, and often... You know, sometimes when somebody uses a visual test kit, there's certain um, uh, instructions maybe they don't follow in the test kit. Like, for example, you know, maybe you're supposed to hold the color block a certain way um, on a white background, things like that. 
And then often what happens with a visual type test kit, um, you may not get the results you would like with a color cue. There's no chance of making that mistake. The meter gives you the readout. So besides the uh, color cue Pro 7, what other uh, photometers do you carry that you think that maybe a pool service professional? And I know that I've had plumbers contact me regarding the color cue color cue kit for the uh, copper test. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we, we offer many different versions of the color cue. Um, as you mentioned, the, the copper uh, test kit, um, that does well for customers who have ionization systems um, where they want to measure copper, pH, alkalinity, and hardness uh, on a meter. Um, one thing that I do like to recommend is our Pro 9, um, which our Pro 9 can basically measure nine different test factors like the Pro 7, but it also does copper and iron. And the reagents come in a large bottle, a 288 uh, test bottle that they can use. So for somebody doing a lot of testing, um, they can save money on the larger bottles, and it gives them extra tests that they can run. Okay, and also besides the photometers over it, you also carry um, a variety of test strips. Um, you want to talk a little bit about the different test strips that you carry? Sure. Uh, with our test strips, uh, we carry a consumer line uh, that retailers uh, will sell to the uh, consumers. Um, with those, what's nice about it is that the strips coming a come in a pop top bottle. Uh, with a pop top bottle, as it as it sounds, you pop it open, you pull out a strip, you close the lid, you test the the, the water or pool or spa, and you get your results. Um, the nice thing about it is they're instant reading, so there's no waiting. You don't have to wait 15 seconds or 30 seconds or a minute. Once you take that strip out of the pool and match it to the label that's on the bottle, you have your results. Um, now with also our strips, we also include on our, on our strips to make it easy for the user um, the chlorine test and the bromine test. So that way if a homeowner has a pool and a spa, they can just buy one bottle to use instead of having to buy, buy two different bottles. Yeah, so that makes it much nicer for the user. Yeah, it's very convenient. And I've used your test strips before, and I really like the different the color. Um, the colors on the test strips are really easy to read also. Yes, very, very vibrant. Uh, um, we changed our formula probably about five years ago, and when we did that, we had better color distinction between the pads, and we also use uh, a type of plastic where when you dip it into the pool, when you pull it out, the water stays on the pad, where with some other strips that are manufactured by other companies, you'll sometimes see the water possibly run down the uh, pads to the next pad, which we call that bleeding into the next pad, which, of course, will cause interferences and issues. And besides the other uh, test strips and the the photometers. You also make uh, digital water testers. Can you talk about the different digital water testers that you make? Sure. Um, we have the, uh, we call our tracer pocket tester. And with our tracer pocket tester, um, it allows a service pro um, to use it where they can measure salt, TDS. Uh, we also have one that does pH and ORP and total chlorine. So it gives the um, ability for the user where they don't need to use possibly a reagent, they just place the um, sensor from the pocket tester into the water sample to get a digital reading. Uh, again, takes the guesswork out of color matching, uh, gives you more of a precise reading because with most of our pocket testers, you would calibrate them, um, a pH one or a salt one, and that way you're getting precise results. I really like the fact that you can also get those um, digital testers in a case, like the, almost like the same case that Color Q comes in. Right. Yeah. The uh, the carrying cases are nice because you know you want to make sure you take care of um, your device, and the carrying case has that soft um, case. We use the red one uh, for the Color Q, and we use the blue one um, for our pocket testers. And a lot of customers like that carrying case because it's unique uh, versus what else is out there. And we're going to uh, talk about the Spin Touch Mobile all by itself in a separate podcast, but you want to uh, share a little bit about the Spin Touch Mobile for the listeners? Sure. Um, the Spin Touch Mobile um, came out last year. Um, it measures uh, 10 different tests in a minute. 
And the unique thing about it is, like I mentioned, you can do all those tests in a minute, kind of like uh, adding water into a black box, and you get all your results. Um, the, the disc that the reagents are in um, gives you the ability to measure your chlorine and your pH and your phosphates and many other tests. So it just makes it so much simpler and easier and more precise um, when using the spin touch. For me, I think it's one of the most revolutionary test kits that I've, I've used, and I think probably on the market, right? Yes, there's nothing like that out there right now. Most, uh, most test kits that are available um, are either visual or their meters where you have to add one test at a time, um, kind of like the color cue where you have to run one test and then wash out your test tubes and then you run another test and so forth. So with the spin, you can do everything in a minute so retailers like it because they can use that in the store, but also service professionals or commercial users can use that in the field to, to run tests at their site. So where can a listener go to learn more about all the products that Lamont makes? Um, the best place to go is, of course, to our website. If you go to uh, lamont.com, um, you'll find all the different products that uh, we have available in the pool market. Uh, but we also uh, manufacture products um, for drinking water, educational products for schools, um, also a cooling tower, many other different products um, that we offer. Well, thanks for your time, Rich. It was very informative, and I think it'll help listeners um, make the a choice between which test kit they're going to use for their own pool and also for the uh, pool service professional to choose the right test kit for their pool route. Thanks, David. Yeah, thanks. Great. Thank you. So although the Color Q Pro 7 is marketed more towards pool service professionals to do the test factors out there in the field, if you're a homeowner and you're looking for a easy-to-use, easy-to-read test kit that's very accurate that will give you a digital readout of the actual test results, the Color Q Pro 7 would be a great investment. So it'll give you the exact readout on the screen. So if the chlorine level is 3.4, it'll read it out on the screen for you. At pH is 7.4, it'll show it on the screen. So it's a great test kit to use to do the water testing in your house. If you're a pool service professional and you're looking for a very accurate test kit that's going to do the seven test factors, the Color Q Pro 7 would be an excellent choice, I think. He also mentioned the Color Q Pro 9 that does the copper and iron testing also. So if you live in an area where you need to do that on a regular basis, that would be a great test kit to invest in. And I really liked the overall design of the Color Q test kit with the case and with the reagents in there and with the photometer. So it's a very easy and user-friendly test kit, and I would definitely recommend it. I also use their test strips on my route, and I really like the waterproof pop top of the test strips. It makes uh, getting them out and getting doing the reading very easy also when you're doing a test strip reading out there in the field. So whether you're a pool service professional or a homeowner, the bottom line is you need a good accurate test kit to test the water factors every week to make sure that the pool is actually safe to swim in and that the water is being balanced. So definitely check out the Color Q Pro 7 and the other products by Lamont. And you can find some videos on my YouTube channel on the Color Q Pro 7 as well as their test strips and also the digital testers. Or you can go to their website at www.lamont.com. That's L-A-M-O-T-T-E dot com. And just click on the pool and spa product section and it will give you all of their test kits and also their test strips and digital testers listed there on their site. And I have two separate videos on the Color Q Pro 7. One is just an overview of the product itself and the other one is actually going through all the different test factors and I show you how to do all those test factors in the video. I also have videos on their tracer, the salt, TDS and temperature tracer as well as their total chlorine tracer with pH and ORP sensor. And I also have a separate videos on their test strips that you can find on my YouTube channel. And again, you can always email me on my website, swimmingpoollearning.com, or you can also leave a comment if you're watching the YouTube version of this podcast, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. And I also have a video on the mobile Waterlink Spin Touch, which I'm going to be talking to Rich about in the next podcast here. You can watch that video also on my YouTube channel to get familiar with that product. It's a great product that will test 10 test factors of the pool in 60 seconds. 
If you're a swimming pool owner looking for more help, I have an ebook available on my website. You can also just Google swimming pool care ebook. That'll take you to my webpage where you can find the ebook. Or you can go to www.swimmingpoollearning.com. And there's a link directly on my homepage to the ebook. Or you can click on the resource tab and scroll down to swimming pool care ebook. And you can order the ebook there for the low price of $9.99. And in 2018, this year, I updated the ebook. So now it's over 200 pages. I updated some of the material. I also added about 40 pages of additional material to the ebook. And this is a one stop source book where you can find everything you need to know about your swimming pool care needs. And you can find everything from balancing your pool, the cleaning tools, to the pool filters, to pool equipment troubleshooting metals in your pool water, and also money-saving tips. If you're a pool service professional, the last part of the book is dedicated to different uh, pool service related um, subjects like liability insurance, starting a pool route. I also have in the ebook a basic equipment list to start your route with. And if you're in the pool service industry and you want additional help, you can also join me on Patreon on this site. You can sign up at a $10 or $20 level depending on which level you sign up for. You can text me directly for real-time answers. You also get an invite to a group me app or there's about 45 pool guys and gals on there and you can post a question there directly also. You'll get a free copy of my ebook and you also will get a discount on your general liability insurance. So for more information on that you can also go to my website and if you click on the resource tab you'll see one marked Patreon and then from that tab it'll take you to my Patreon site where you can sign up uh, for those benefits and in addition to those benefits you also will get a 10% discount code when you order the Riptide pool vacuum system so definitely check out my Patreon site I have a lot of benefits uh, for joining so I have a lot of resources from my YouTube channel to my blog to my website for the homeowner and for the pool service professional so I hope you found this particular podcast informative about the Lamont uh, pool water test kits and pool water test products. And definitely uh, check out the particular products that they offer for you, for your pool route or for your home. So thank you for listening to this week's podcast. Have a great rest of your week and God bless. The Pool Guy Podcast Show.